Hello everyone and welcome to this Mistrika review video. Today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about Mistrika and as usual if you do have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll also be leaving a discount link in this video's description so that you can always get your money's worth for Mistrika. So Mistrika is essentially an email campaign software where if you think about it when somebody buys a product of a website you don't want that to be the very final time that they ever look at your company buy a product from you or really make any interaction with your business at all. You want to keep them coming and you want to keep customers going and going and going. So what this software allows you to do is set up automated email campaigns, things to send out to people, make sure that you secure them and continue to gain money from them whilst also benefiting them as well. Because obviously letting people go uh, quiet and only having clients appear once or twice is not ideal. And this is what this website aims to obviously combat. So once you've created your account, you have your homepage, all of everything you need to know is down at the left. And then that is basically more or less the complete interface. So very easy to navigate. Now under the homepage, it allows you and asks you to set up an email ID. However, we don't need to do that. Um, that's only if you wanted to link your email and gain statistics for that. So as you can see, adding email ID, stats are just delayed by 24 hours. So you have to wait 24 hours for stats to originally be uh, displayed for you. But once we go to campaign, this is where everything really begins to start. So you can create an email campaign by hitting the add campaign button and we'll just call it email one. Now you have the target niche. This is depending on what your business is about or the type of people that you want to target. So for example, if we were doing uh, technology, we would hit this and target location, we will select the United Kingdom. Now, if you need an external webhook onto other softwares, you can input the URL here, but we're going to go ahead and hit save. Once that's done, we have basically a sequence and a list of instructions that we'll need to go through. So for example, no emails exists in this campaign. Let's start by adding a step in your sequence. So by hitting add step, we can select the subject and we'll put welcome. And then we put the body of text that we want to be sent out. So welcome to my company. This is an email. So once we put this in, this is what it will look like. Now then, once we've got the sequence, you can add steps for it if you wanted to, previous email subject, things like that. But then you can go to leads. Now leads is where you can basically have a large amount of people that you already have that you want to send this email out to. So you have, basically you can have a CSV file and it must have a full name and email column. So you need to make sure that those are the parameters that are set on your actual CSV files. You can go and edit that if that's something that you have and you want to import that. But you can also make manually create leads that are basically lists of big amount of names, emails, and information about them that you can then use to send out automatically. So once that's done, you can obviously choose the file or you can add a lead here. Lead name, we'll put uh, John Smith and the email is johnsmith at gmail.com. And then you can add the lead and that will be that. And then what you can do is go to your settings page and you can go to accounts to use, select from one or more accounts if you wanted to. So you can use different email accounts to send the emails from. Um, these are some options here. So you can stop sending emails to a lead if a response has been received. So if they've emailed back or they've done something or interacted, you can set this to be active so that it won't continuously send them the same email, even if they've already done something with that email. And then you can obviously have open tracking, delivery optimization. You can have a daily sending limits you don't spam people a maximum amount of leads that you'll send per day and a schedule for what days you want to send them out for but that's essentially how you would make a campaign and when you're done you can hit the save button and as you can see we have got an error in the bottom right but that's only because we haven't selected an account to actually send it from but that's how you would go about creating a campaign unibox is essentially your control area so everywhere you can view all the things that have been sent out the replies Anything to do with how people have interacted, you can view it here. So you have your all where you can view everything, any new emails, any replied emails or sent emails, how many people are interested, any scheduled meetings, closed offers, any people that are out of office, wrong person or not interested. It's basically your inbuilt email inbox. So very self-explanatory. Under settings, you're able to select an account email identifier. As you can see here, this is used to label the warm-up emails if you want to, but you're not going to want to use this for moving them, deleting them or anything like that. Um, and it will obviously stop warming your email. So essentially you've got your settings below where you can update your password, look at little browser settings, and also make sure that you have two-factor authentication set up just for that tiny little bit of extra security on the site.
You also have a link to some code templates. So if you didn't know what to write or you want to have it pre-written for you, you can go onto the code templates option and this will open up a spreadsheet document. So as you can see, we have the startup technique, um, the subject of what it will be, and then the email. So we'll see if we can find a shorter one and we'll read this out for you. Here we are. Hello name, greetings of the day. I was going through your website and I had some suggestions for your page. Many of my clients have found my suggestions quite helpful. And I hope you, too, have a similar experience. Let me know if you're interested. Thanks, sender. So you basically have a load of these that you're then able to copy and paste, obviously, and use them in your own campaigns if you want to. And they do have a lot. As you can see at the top, we have over 600 templates. So scrolling through, we can go all the way down, have a lovely look at everything that we've got. And then we also have a link to where that is actually from on the right hand side. Now, moving on, we have the community tab. Now, this is where we can have a little look at the overall community area on Facebook if we want to as you can see business growth and hacking but this is more if you want to sort of talk with people who also use this software but you wouldn't really need to use that now you also have your guide page which is basically where everything that you might not know the answer to is going to be held so you have an faq a knowledge base terms and conditions everything like that will be in here and you can have a look through on their own website this is obviously not on there on the one where you can actually edit stuff that is my my street um, mistrica.com but you also have mistrica.com and then your knowledge base as well so it's obviously on a separate website but you can view everything that you might want to know about this and obviously help if you do have any uh, issues or questions this is most likely where you would find your issues and the answer to that issue. Basically, you then have the support area and what that will do is open up a separate tab with your email service and you'll be able to ask any questions that you might have about the software to those people and you'll get a response via email. But that is more or less it for Mistrica. So we now need to think about why somebody might want to use a software like this. And as I said at the beginning, it's mainly down to ensuring that you keep any people that you have purchasing from you or any sort of thing that they have in relation to your business. You don't want to lose customers and you don't want to lose clients. So being able to consistently target them and even new people who have never interacted with your business is able to both keep and gain people that will be using your company and using your services so it's also very very seamless as well being able to obviously have everything in one place and manage any ingoing outgoing emails that might actually be there is also a really great feature and i really like how everything's laid out and that is also one of the reasons why i have to say i do recommend this software everything is laid out in a really nice easy way the ability to edit your profiles in a good place the templates are especially good because a lot of people may not speak english that well and you might be using something like this so having a pre-made template that you might be able to understand is also great and having it all there very easy to access and simply copy and paste is one of the greatest things and obviously everything as i said that's integrated the actual ability to create a campaign is very very easy um, and it's very very efficient as well and it will get the job done so that is one of the reasons why people might want to use this obviously to just keep that engagement with their business much much more but thank you everyone so much for watching I will see you next time and goodbye.